true from a certain point of view. A certain point of view? I'd like to take some time this week to shed a little light on something that's been blatantly obvious to me for years. The Rebel Alliance are a terrorist organization, plain and simple. Let's aim our scopes on the facts, shall we? Luke Skywalker. Skywalker was brought into the Rebel Alliance by means of deceit by Obi-Wan Kenobi, a much revered religious figure within the Rebellion, who had a penchant for chopping off people's arms. In the long run, Skywalker eventually joined wholeheartedly into the Rebellion and the Jedi Order, and wasn't just a client gang, he was the President. His actions made it well known how corrupt this organization is from the word go, starting off by attempting to recruit Jabba the Hutt into the Rebellion. Let's see what we know about old Fatty McBatterson here. Jabba was a drug dealer. Jabba was a drug dealer, ran slave rings, and put out assassination contracts on people and was just plain sadistic. Why would anyone want this guy in their so-called noble cause, unless it's not about freedom, but Skywalker's personal desire to obtain the power to rule the galaxy by any means necessary? Let's not forget that this sick bastard tried to sleep with his own sister, and even attempted to kill his own father, Darth Vader, not once, but twice. He even manipulated a father's love for his son into a means to get Lord Vader to assassinate Emperor Palpatine. Yeah, Skywalker's the perfect poster boy for this terrorist band, no doubt about it. General Han Solo, Imperial Naval Officer turned traitor before becoming one of the galaxy's most wanted drug smugglers. That's right kids, he was a drug smuggler. What do you think spice is? It ain't oregano, and it ain't pleasant. It's used by huts to torture people. And I don't even want to go into how this vile stuff is produced. He's a criminal thug of the worst kind. Dealer, smuggler, murderer. Mr. Shoot First and Ask Questions Later. And yes, he shot first. Hey pal, you lost that right when you left the Imperial military. Moving on. The Death Star plans. Stolen technology on a threat to galactic security level. These plans were stolen by Bothans, who were probably conned into stealing them in the first place. And the Rebel Alliance wanted them for the sole purpose of studying them to find a weakness and destroy the Death Star and all persons on board. Combatant and non-combatant alike. With a bloodlust to sacrifice millions for their self-righteous cause. Ewoks. I won't go into just how ridiculous the notion of these furry midgets beating the Empire is right now, but trust me, I'll get around to that little farce soon enough. But, that being said, the inhabitants of the fourth moon of Endar aren't all that bad. Not by a long shot. In fact, the Empire lived in relative peace on their planet for quite a while. Hey, you have any idea how long it takes to build a station that size? Things were fine right up until the Rebels showed up and they dragged the non-combatant Ewok civilians into their fight by means of, that's right kids, deception. They convinced their protocol droid to pretend he was a god. That's gotta be against every prime directive in the books, no matter what universe you're from. Let's also take into account just how little consideration the Rebellion had for the Ewoks. Have you ever blown up a small moon that's close enough to a planet that you can actually see it explode? No, you haven't. But the Rebellion did. And when you cause something that big to literally explode so close to a planet's surface, there is bound to be some destruction. And I mean full-blown, ecosystem-altering, atmosphere-burning, planet-wasting destruction. The Rebellion performed genocide on a planetary scale, kids, and there's no denying it. Oh well, the Ewoks weren't really part of the Rebellion anyway just some savage dupes they conned into dying for them because their babe gave an Ewok a cracker. And you people call us the bad guys? I'm TD0013, and this has been A Different Point of View. The following has been a presentation of A Different Point of View, all rights reserved. The opinions expressed on this program do not necessarily reflect those of the Empire or its subsidiary systems.